I think it's not possible to put that money to this T4. Not easy to found, but now I get one, the rank number, number two. two. And then I found this one. There is another shop, they have only two millimeter. I'm from Finland. Take it out. Hi, I am Sami and I want to be Overlander. I revealed my ego. Hello from Wannabe Overlander YouTube channel and today we are going to talk more about this why I choose this T4 rather than Land Rover Defender. I made that previous video a few months ago. I get more viewers that video than to another my videos so I think that topic is something you might like to watch. So let's talk about more that and a little bit more specific and it's not only just this T4, special this T4 have many features that makes it for me more valuable than another T4. It's not only Land Rovers, Defenders versus T4, Volkswagen, it's also another cars because those are lots of more expensive than this T4 and it is not the minor difference, it's a very different. I see in the Instagram one beautiful Mercedes Sprinter for motion. Fully custom made by Center X Drive. I looked at the car and it was very beautiful. It has a multifunctional steering wheel. Very nice interior, leather, and. Uh, With access to a quick kitchen and bathroom, you have everything you need to live. Of course, there is a bathroom, shower. Not to forget. King size bed and kitchen, everything. Lots of more space than this T4. But uh, as I told you before, the important reason is it cannot fit in the sea container. But I talk about a little bit more about the price situation. As you see this clip, the Sprinter is very beautiful. But the price for a car like this is $159,000. If you are interested... Or euros, I don't remember. But it's uh, about the same. Okay, let's think about $160,000 what you can get with that. So if I put this T for $60,000, I think it's not possible to put that money to this T4 if I don't buy every screw and every nut new. I'm going to lose a lot of money for this too, but uh, then it's gonna be like a, almost like a new car. If I value my time, what I spend it, you have to think about price for that too but uh, every hobby you lose your time too so you have to think about it do you go working and save money and buy another car or do you do it yourself so then you don't earning money somewhere but you save money a lot when you do it yourself but let's think about that sprinter that sixty thousand dollar if i put this car Let's play like that. I'm not sure how much it's gonna take, but let's think about like that. So that 100,000, what I have left over. And if I think about budget to go traveling around the world, any high destinations like uh, around Asia, trip or African countries, we don't need to think about Europe or some expensive cities in uh, North America but let's think about desert areas and uh, Asia and uh, something like that so if we play like a hundred dollar budget per day so what you can get 365 days per year you can have thirty six thousand dollars or euros per year budget and what you can get with that money 2019 drive with this van from here to Thailand. The most expensive hotel what we pay money was something about 35 euro or something. So if you think about your budget like 20, 30 dollar, okay, 30 dollar per night, 30 euros per night for the accommodation. And it's not mean we have a vehicle like that, we sleep every night in a vehicle. So let's make a budget like a 30, euros per night for sleeping accommodation 
it can be a camping spot. Some days you can pay like a 50 euro per night. Some, some day you sleep outside. So let's play that 30 dollar. And then you can have a gasoline like a 50 dollar or something, 50 euros. Then it's 80 euros. And eating 20 euros. Uh, that's a very easy budget. You can manage most of the places. That hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand euro, what you save money about that car, you can travel in three years if you calculate like that. But then, of course, you have to have extra budget for the shipping costs and something if you go to see some sightseeing where you need to pay some entrance tickets and something like that, then you can going to lose lots of more money. But anyway, I can guarantee you can travel in hundred thousand euro around the world trip you want to put that money to your car or for the traveling so that's the one one thing what i want to talk about this car is uh, technique so this 95 year transporter caravelle t4 this is not the start of the production line it starts from the 90 or 92 or 90 or something like that when t4 came up first so they already make many updates fixing those small issues what they have like uh, in the engine there is uh, some star washer in the and the damper and then the, behind that there is some star washer which not including the earlier models so there is uh, something updates what they make to this t495 of, of course their later model, models have more something better like uh, bolt on fenders which this car have only welded fenders but you don't need to change fenders every week so I don't mind that and the main thing is this car don't have too much electronics and like I tell you that it's very important thing when you are in some rural areas and uh, some not so developed countries where you don't get the dealer or where they don't have parts for you used parts or something you have to shipping everything from Europe and waiting long times if you have big issues with the, some electronics what else okay I show you I don't have lots of proceed with this car now but uh, I have this spare wheel carrier here this is original style it's a very rough condition but uh, it's not easy to found but now I get one and there is parts which need the welding to the body so I have a little bit hard jobs now and one more thing is those door hinge for the driver's door which I need to paint so I have a several things and as you remember that sliding door upper roller behind there is a crack so I need to paint several places and welding that spare wheel carrier to the body and this door hinge and the upper roller sliding door and then I need to make some paintings for there and I've been a little bit busy now with this and I have been working somewhere else now so that's why I don't have proceed with this car I don't have many hours time to do this and new window tints are installed there and main reason those window tints are this protection films so they are thick films so you cannot knock in so easy to this car it's slowing down for the robberies so here in the box is G part 3 millimeter thick zoom card and this one is the thickest model what they are available in the in the markets I make a lots of research and then I found this one there is another shop they have only 2 millimeter and uh, 2.5 millimeter thick, but this one is 3 millimeter. But it's not available in their shop all the time. I'm waiting a long time and then I send email for them and they answer me they have just this one piece in the shop. So I get this now here. But I'm going to order more some shield to under the chassis. They have also shield for the tank and uh, for the drive shaft. I think I'm going to have those two. 
So this time I have mostly only collecting parts and uh, try to get everything to my garage. So upcoming winter I'm going to have more time for do this car so I, I'm sure I can make it lots of more proceed. And uh, when I have parts here in the garage and I start to put everything back together then it's going to proceed much more quicker. So as you see that my parts only piling up here. So I'm not sure what else I have something to tell you about technique about my T4. But uh, one important thing is about that electronic. This 95 model there is not have anything electronic control units for the engine or anything something like a catalytic converter or anything else which can make issue when they have a fault. So do you know that uh, YouTube channel uh, Forex Overland Andrew White I think so that guy named he from Australia he talk about Ineos Grenadier or what it is that uh, spin-off model of Land Rover Defender and they talk about someone go Overland camping with that car and uh, every time you open door the car it makes some pre-starting systems electronics running out some maybe open the fuel pumps or something I don't know what adjustments or engine checks so it takes every time lots of electric when you open the door just open the driver's door so that's my my T4 no have any electronics and I, I love that when you open the door you don't lose anything electric that's the one thing and about that sprinter for motion there is no any deep locks anywhere so it can be run spinning only with the one tire you can imagine there is a drive shaft for every wheel but no any locking system so one it can be real only one wheel drive but uh, the four-wheel drive works with the braking and there is lots of electronics and, and the uh, anti-slip control system can know which tire is start to spinning so then the, that tire is going to break and that car tire which break then it's transferred to torque to tires which have still have traction so that kind of system how that four-wheel drive works but uh, I think it can be usable also. I don't say it cannot use, but it's it lots of brakes, brake pads if you're driving in a slippery conditions with that. So this my T4 have a disco coupling with uh, Andrew Kern in Austria make for me sport disco coupling. So that's have a more traction than the original one. So I have a little bit more transfer and quicker transfer to rear axle than the original T4s and uh, rear deep lock and uh, it's gonna make that car three wheel drive so one of the front wheels can spin in there is also available in in Poland I think Poland have some company who sell the front deep locks but I don't need that I'm not going to the more off-road capable your car is more difficult places you going to drive so that's why I think it's it's okay our van is is quite good for that and one thing is also the weight of the car more lighter your car is it's easier to get out if it gets stuck somewhere and if it's a soft place mud or sand or something it's easier to get up from there by the way this is one my friend's car he stopped this into my car because he is going to wash it and uh, make some maintain. It's sat already, I don't know how many years, I think 15 years or something, not driven, it's uh, just only set in the, in the barn. And uh, now he's going to wash it and make some maintain and put it back to road again. So I think he's going to sell it. Maybe in upcoming spring if someone needs bus like this I think this this is quite nice there is some minor things it's not the new car 
I think it's gonna be a good car for somebody. And something else about my T4. If I be working or driving car or somewhere, I have lots of ideas what I want to tell you, but now my head is blank. Okay, now one important thing, it's old car and it's not looking fancy. I think it's more safer to traveling when you're not looking so fancy and with the expensive car and expensive equipments. So I think it's a safer zone when you're blending with the low-cost cars. There is a lots of robberies, especially in Europe and somewhere America, California and uh, San Francisco. I see all the time videos where they broken car windows and steal anything inside. I like to avoid this kind of places anyway, but uh, if you have a car which is not so fancy, I think it's a safer zone. Okay, that is the rant number two about why I choose this T4 rather than Land Rover Defender. But uh, this was some kind of improvised, I don't make any plans what I want to talk to you and I forget always everything what I want to say, but I can make some voiceovers here more. Voiceover is not my style for make videos. I want to talk to you straight the feelings and uh, what I have up to coming. There is coming more videos. I make this car to finish. Uh, there is going to be make be some delay a little bit and uh, I have some another content coming to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. Later, when I have time to edit and uh, so I'm going to end this video here and remember subscribe to this channel if you don't have done yet and remember it costs nothing. So see you in a later episode. Thank you.